Imagine you just ordered a pizza, and you're back from work, and there was some traffic. You're tired, and you could use that pizza. Now imagine you also suddenly feel violent pain in your chest, and you're afraid it's a heart attack. So you're going to call 911. So guess who you do not want to be the first person to knock at your door? Yeah, the pizza guy. So I'm going to share with you the beautiful work that's being done in this Israeli non-for-profit that's called United at Salah. I'm part of that board for more than three years now. And what we understood in United at Salah is that it takes too long for an ambulance to get where needed. It's too complicated for that ambulance to go in the traffic and for the people who are driving this ambulance to figure out where to park it. It just takes too long. So that's why they invented these ambulance cycles. So it's a small motorcycle. It's not impacted by traffic. It can go anywhere. It's easy to park. You can leave it. And it just goes faster. So with more than the, the motorcycle, what's important and what's needed to save life is a bunch of people who want to help. And possibly in every street of a community. And even better, maybe in every building. And what it's, uh, what's important as well is an app and technology to coordinate interventions and those zombie cycles. So with these three things, with a bunch of volunteers and a good app with good algorithm behind it and those zombie cycles, well, that's what this organization does, saves life. So we consider this the Uber for emergency medical services. It's an open platform. Um, people are creating their own teams, and we provide with continuous training and simulations, as well as psychological support. And this is what they accomplished. There's 3,000 volunteers coming from everywhere, all religions, all backgrounds, they live anywhere. And with a fleet of almost 500 ambulances. And now the time response is less than three minutes, anywhere in the country. And it's two minutes in big cities, and in Jerusalem, it's even less than one minute. That's because there are so many volunteers. And last year, it's 248,000 interventions, including 50,000 situations that were life of their situations. So I'm going to play a little video. These three volunteers that you've just seen, it's real situations. We had them followed for three months by um, cameras to see what they're going through. So these are actually three real interventions. So I cannot think of a better day to talk about at Salah, and you're going to un understand why. A year ago, it was announced that Jersey City would be partnering with United Rescue to create the nation's first community-based emergency medical response program. Yeah, since then, the program's volunteers have been trained and are ready to deliver medical treatment in the crucial moments that separate life and death. Fossil's Catherine Clark has a story. 
When Jersey City EMS receives a 911 call, it takes about six minutes for an ambulance to arrive on scene. An impressive emergency response time, but they want to cut that time in half. That's where United Rescue comes into play, a volunteer pre-ambulance emergency care service that uses GPS technology to dispatch community-based emergency caregivers, or CBECs, to emergencies like cardiac arrest or strokes. The program, the first of its kind in the country, is modeled after the organization United Hatzalah in Israel. It started out on a community level, just understanding that ambulances don't save lives, it's people that save lives. And it takes time. Ambulances need to struggle through traffic, and they have other calls sometimes, they might take longer, and people are in the neighborhood and right next door and want help. People like Paula Hollenbach, one of the first volunteers to go through the program's training, which is provided by Jersey City Medical Center. If you can be that middleman in between the difference in life and death, that's overwhelming and exciting and powerful. All our volunteers are trained at 70 hours. They are given a full medical bag with oxygen, a defibrillator, masks, splinting materials, uh, other me certain medications. And after they complete the 70 hours, they spend approximately 20 to 25 hours on the ambulance with the Jersey City uh, ambulances. This is how it works. Each volunteer has a GPS-enabled app on their phone called NowForce. When a 911 call is received, a central system locates the nearest volunteer and notifies the person to respond to the emergency. The volunteer acknowledges that he or she is on the way, arrives generally within three minutes, and begins treatment. The estimated three-minute response time is based off of United Hatzalah's proven ability to achieve that response time. Maisel says more volunteers means shorter response times and more lives being saved. So in a few hours from now, there's going to be 51 volunteers graduating in Jersey City. It's the first U.S. United Hatzalah program. And thank you. So if anyone wants to be involved, all it takes is just a bunch of people who want to save life. Thank you.